Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Robinson. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today to show you the basic locations of the various components on your new Cyclone Toy Hauler 4014C. So one of the first things we want to make sure we do when we get to the campground is we want to make sure we turn on the battery disconnects. You just got two of them in front here. That's off this battery that we'll be operating here. There's a hydraulics. That's our inverter for our solar panel that we have on the roof on this model. But you gotta make sure you turn those on so you have 12 volt power. So to make sure that 12 volt power is working, we'll push both these arrow keys here. Notice the green light that illuminates. And then we can operate things like our jacks, our auto level and things of that nature right from there. Okay, as we go over here to the side, we've got an additional battery disconnect right there. Wanna make sure that that one's turned on as well. That's for your solar panel. The positioning of the valves here determines the functionality we want. If we want city water connection, we'll put the valves in that position. If we want to fill the tank, we'll put them in that position. We hook our water up to here, we come through here with a white water drinking hose. This is our flush for a black tank right there. Incredible storage in this model. Okay, hot water heater. That's all controlled from the inside of the camper from our in command or, or one touch system. Furnace exhaust there, do keep the little ones away from that as it can become hot. Your waste and discharge valves are right there. Your inch and a half is your gray, your three inch is your waste. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on your tires. We do check those after the first 250 miles. They should be rechecked so you don't lose a tire. You do have additional valves back here, as well as an additional flush for the rear bathroom in this model as well. Okay, back here, we've got your fuel dispensing nozzle, your front tank is your generator, your back reserve tank is just that, a reserve tank. Those are operated and turned on from that control right there. Your power cord wheel is controlled from right here. There's your push button for your power. For that, simply push it and guide the, the power cord in. Okay, there's your ladder, 250 pounds rated. If we wanna operate that, we simply pull the pins and pull forward on the ladder and that will make it swing out. These handles flip and rotate. That allows the rear tailgate down. Now for this rear tailgate to come down in a patio position, you wanna leave the cables attached. If you want it to go to the ground so you can load items, just detach the cables, real straightforward. We have your rear awning on there. Okay, back here, We've got your steps for your rear patio. And of course, you have three beautiful awnings here. Let's go to the front here. The front, what's really important to note is our first slide that we need to go out. And that's controlled by this button right here, right behind the TV, okay? That's your electrical adapters to convert from 50 to 30 amp exterior stove. We simply depress these and that'll pull right out. And then there's a quick connect gas line right below that. For a spare tire right there, unscrew that pin and that'll come sliding out. So motion sensor lights are activated there. Split tank system, a tank on either side. Turn those on, lefty loosey, righty tighty shuts them off. Your auto changeover is located right there. The green indicates that there's propane in the lines. Red means the tanks are empty. Whichever direction you flip the flipper on top is the tank it's gonna be drawing from, okay? Let's go inside the camper, and show you a couple other things. Our keyless entry right there. The code for those is on the back of the door. Okay. So we walk in here this is our main in command, which activates the whole unit. Everything from your slides, as you can control, see there, you can scroll through your various devices with a scrollable menu, which is located right there. Select the function, and then you operate it from there. This is your solar panel. It just lets you know that's throwing a charge to your battery right now. That's your power management. It's managing your air conditioners, overhead light switches, your inverter, the little green light will come on for that to be walk, working properly. This controls your secondary slide right there. And this is heating pads for your additional tanks. Okay, to turn on our fireplace, hit the button on the far right side, 
we can adjust for temperature, flame color to set the mood. Your keys are around your kitchen faucet. Your RV, your remotes are typically in your kitchen drawer. Your controls for the refrigerator are located on the side of the refrigerator to adjust that. Your stove is electronic ignition, so all you simply do is rotate. You hear it spark, and look at that. She lights right up. Overhead lights, of course, things like your microwave. Let's go up front here. So I want to show you one thing about your bed. I'll turn the lights on in the bedroom here real quick. So see that black switch over in the far corner? You do have to make sure this bed is angled up before you go to put the slide out in. That's not angled up, it won't come in. Your additional thermostat here for your air conditioner, they all operate the same way. I'll show you the one in the hallway here. Okay, to get that to operate, we're gonna push it a couple times. A snowflake appears, our air conditioning kicks on, then we set the desired temperature. There it goes. For our furnace, we're gonna push it again, see the wavy lines, set desired temperature, and then to shut them all off, we hit it one more time. As we make our way back here, our controls for these back power beds are located right here. Our overhead lights are right here to turn those on and off. Any outlet that has SOL means it's solar controlled. For your bed, you can lock your top bed in position and just bring down your bottom bed with this control right here, just like we did right now. That way, if you only want to activate your bench, you only have to use your beds. One important note, your glass doors. Make sure your panels are down when you go to close the back end. If you don't, it potentially could pop out a panel. You want fresh air, squeeze it, push forward. Carbon monoxide gas detector is located at the bottom here. This little white sticker's on there. It's just to indicate that these are ground fault protected outlets. If all of a sudden an outlet quits working on you, what you want to do is go push the reset, typically located in the kitchen or bathroom. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. We do appreciate your business. We understand you'll have additional questions, so please don't hesitate to give us a call. You can reach us at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.